That is Ryan Klesko, down here with my good friend Jeremy here. We are at the show in Dallas, Texas, ABCA. We're at the Aerobat booth and really like this product. I think it's really good for the youth and even all the way to the major league level to train at a high speed versus always the weighted bat. And that's kind of what Jeremy and I were talking yeah. about. What this does that like no real device in this place does is it helps you feel the lag, almost like that bull whip of how to release the barrel through the ball and create easy exit velo. So for me personally, that's why, you know, you saw me at, at Truist Park. Like I just, I swing this aggressively harder and harder and harder and I just grab my bat. There's no adjustment period. It's just grab my bat, release it exactly the same as I released this. And it was easy for me to be here and represent the product. Cause I like it because a lot of the guys are just swinging away to bat, swinging away to bat. And it's like, and then when you brought this, you got you to feel this thing. It's getting that whip and getting that training. And I think in baseball, you have to train the, the, the fast switch muscles. And you're talking about the lag. A lot of hitters don't even know about that lag. I think now that we're starting to get in training some older kids, we've got to create that lag somehow to get that power that you got. There's a certain technology. When you break down the swing nowadays, you have to be in that that category, you're not gonna be able to hit bombs. Yeah, oh yeah, and that's why like, if you could do it in a way that, it, you know, baseball players are pretty simple-minded guys, so it's like, the easier we can make it, um, the better we're gonna be as athletes. So right. with this, like I said, there's no thought process into training with it. It's just swing it till it feels comfortable, and when it does feel comfortable, you're swinging efficiently. So yeah. that's what I like about it. We were talking about the lag, and we were just talking, that, I love that part of it, because you can feel the lag yeah. on there. Yeah. And, that's, and that's very important, especially for the older kids, because my son, Hunter, when he was swinging, he, every, everything was coming at the same time, right? So his power was lacking. You can talk about that lag. It's like you want to get, as that goes, you want to feel that, just like in the golf swing, yep. which you got to feel that that kind of turn through and create like you're throwing a Frisbee, yep. and that lag is right there. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And that's kind of hard to explain. A lot of people don't know about that. So. No, teaching is all about terminology. And then when you could cut a lot of that out just by handing them something and say, hey, do this and swing it. In my mind, I think it's a game changer. You know more than anyone. I mean, the, the the donut has been like the only device in the on-deck circle for decades. You have to change your loading pattern and unloading pattern just to swing that and get loose. And that's why you see a lot of guys put the donut on, they might not even take a swing in the on-deck circle. Right. So they're not even like fully warming up um, to their potential. And in baseball, since doing long drive, I could think back to how many at-bats I had where I walk up to the plate like, ugh like this, trying to stretch out as I'm walking to the plate. It's, right. Yeah. I'm feeling that way now. The show's standing around oh, yeah. for seven hours. Yeah. But the thing is, it's simpler. There's a lot of stuff here at the show that I think baseball's a simple game. A lot of this stuff with the technology and analyzing every swing, you got to be careful about overanalyzing baseball, right? Yeah. Every time a kid takes a swing, you got the parents or the coach going up going, this is what you did wrong. It's like, yeah. I think some of this stuff is a little bit too much at times, don't you? Oh, absolutely. I love it during practice, yeah. but I don't want someone coming up to me while I'm playing in a game and going, look, your launch angle was off or you're doing this or doing that. Now you think that your swing's jacked up yeah. and now you're probably not going to do very well in the game. In terms of just training a feel, there's not many products that train a feel. And that's right. like, and it's not that, you know, there's there's some great speed training products here. So there's some great strength training products. But when I'm talking about training a feel, I've yet have found a device that is is designed that I would, I would endorse as before you walk up in competition, before you face a pitcher that might, he could be the hardest thrower in your league, you take this on, on deck circle and you swing it, you time him up in between pitches, you swing this three or four times hard, right. and then you grab your bat. I guarantee you, your your muscles will be warmed up to yeah. react. As a baseball player, if you, all you have to do is worry about seeing the pitch out of the hand and your body's already ready to go right. and ready to react. I mean. I know it's few and far between playing in long seasons, but like you'd wake up, some mornings you wake up and it's like, I feel good today. Right. right? And you go up in your bat and you feel like your swings are just a little faster. Like, so to be able to kind of create that feeling day in and day out, yeah. you know, before each and every single at bat, I think it to me is, is something that is overlooked in the game of baseball. It's right. that old mentality of the weighted bat. I mean, the weighted bat does play a little bit and a lot of guys think they have to use that, but I think, I really think that this is really gonna start changing a lot of people's minds yeah. and I think it's good for some speed training too so